Hi everyone, I'm DV Jen. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the simplest behaviors, kinesis. Kinesis is a way that very simple organisms, like this hypothetical slime here, can wander into good areas and stay there without actually understanding what they're doing. All right, here's my world in unity, and here's our little slime. The issue the slime has is its body is made of slime. It is very vulnerable to desiccating in hot, dry conditions. Unfortunately, it is a very simple creature. It has extremely simple sensory organs. It does not have complex neural architecture. And that means it actually cannot detect the direction of hot danger or cool safety. The slime can know if its own body is hot or dry or cool or moist, but it does not have the ability to know what direction to go if it wants to become cool. It just cannot sense that. What it can do, though, is use kinesis. Kinesis is a non-directional change in activity in response to a stimulus. What I mean by this is it can detect if its own body is hot and then maybe move more, but it doesn't actually see heat or detect heat and go away from it. Kinesis is a non-directional change. It's never away or towards a stimulus. What can happen with simple creatures like the slime is they can randomly sort of wander into an area that's not good for them, and that will make them move faster, or it'll make them turn more. That will cause them to hopefully get out of that area. And then if they randomly wander into an area that's nice, they'll maybe move a little slower and turn a little less and that will cause them to stay in that area a little bit longer. Ultimately, kinesis means a simple creature, like our slime, can incidentally wander into the right place and stay there and have no idea how it did that. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna put 250 slimes into this container. The left side is too hot, but the right side is the perfect cool temperature. The slimes have no idea what's going on. They can't tell what direction is hot, what direction is cool. You'll see them bump into each other and bump into the walls. Their little eye spots are pretty much just there so I know what direction they're facing. They really can't do a whole lot. They can, however, detect if their own body is cool or warm. And if they stumble into the red area, they're going to feel warmer. And if they stumble into the blue area, they're going to feel cooler. What the slimes can do is use kinesis to adjust their random wandering behavior. If they become too warm, they will move a little faster and they will turn a little more. If they become cool, they will move a little slower and turn a little less. So the slimes don't really know what they're doing. And they don't really know where they're going. But because they can use kinesis, they will mostly end up in the cool blue zone. In the real world, kinesis is a strategy that's used by a lot of simple organisms like planarians or roly-poly isopods. It's used by a lot of simple creatures to get them into a good place. Probably a lot of unicellular creatures, probably a lot of microscopic creatures, probably a lot of things that aren't actually animals can use kinesis. Kinesis is really useful for simple creatures because that's all they've got. That's the best they can do. But it can still be used by more complex creatures, too. Let's talk about implementation. I'm using the Unity game engine. You can use any other game engine you want, Unreal, Godot, whatever. You can program this in, uh, in just other things. Doesn't matter. I'm going to hit the core concepts. Here's my slime prefab in Unity. It has all the standard Unity things. But the first thing that's relevant is this creature stats section. This is where I intend to put all the creature stats. For right now, I only have this satisfaction level. When the slimes wander into the red area, that's detected and that decreases the satisfaction level a little bit. If they wander into the blue area, that increases the satisfaction level for a little bit. Right now, I have just these two areas affecting overall satisfaction, but you could have things like a temperature variable if you want temperature-based kinesis. You could have a light variable if you wanted a light-based kinesis. You could have a hunger variable if you wanted a hunger-based kinesis. Right now, I'm just going to put everything in this one core trait. Up next, I have this wandering section. 
and this is where I keep all the settings for the random wandering behavior. Right now, my creatures can just move fast or slow, and they can turn in small angles or they can turn in big angles. I'm still making a lot of adjustments here. Really, it's up to you to implement this how you want. The point I'd like to make is notice I have two sets of wandering settings. I have one for when the creatures are discontent and one for when the creatures are content. To implement kinesis, what needs to happen is that satisfaction level needs to determine which wandering setting to use. And in fact, I blend between them. I'm using the entity component system in Unity Dots. Here's basically what my code looks like. I find every entity that has a wandering component and a creature stats component, and then I use that satisfaction level to interpolate between the two wander settings. If you wanted to use Unity's classic game object mono behavior workflow, then your code might look something like this. If you wanted to use some other game engine, some other programming language, the core aspect of the kinesis would be blend between multiple wandering settings based on some sort of input. Again, I'm using an overall satisfaction level, but this could be specific to temperature, humidity, food levels, air quality, anything you can think of. I'll also leave it to you to implement your specific code because it could be anything. You could have climbing, jumping, flying, digging, whatever stuff. As long as the stimulus change doesn't produce any behavior that goes toward a stimulus or away from a stimulus, then you're talking about kinesis. Well, that's it for this video. I'll leave by letting you watch the slimes play for a little bit. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to chat about behavior. Until then, happy simulating and happy sliming.